tell how clean and how, how well that they've looked early on in this roster's lifespan, and that's continuing here in the playoffs. Well, let's see how it goes. Fnatic on the T side, of course. Liquid on the CT side. Already Leash taking a hit from something. I'm not sure what. OC taking a challenge. But mostly they're waiting for Nitro and that Flash and the calls to come in and actually do something. One set of duelies in play. Going to be hard to find the timing for those flashbangs from Nitro considering how slow-paced Fnatic is in this round. Huge lean for Team Liquid towards the B bomb site. Four players here, including Nitro up in the balcony. Yukinder is all the way back towards the A bomb site. And Fnatic slowly progressing. Most of their players out towards long. And the question becomes, when does Yakinder call him back? Probably as soon as he spots at least a little bit of presence, but this Ooh. is dangerous. Yeah, super dangerous. He's walking up and now there's no cover. If he gets caught out here, he's fighting to the death, which seems like he's ready to try and do that. Oh, what a peek. Fortunately, fortunately for him, Fasher and Roy had already gone towards bathroom, so there's no way for them to actually hunt and chase down that kill. I'm so impressed. Not, I mean, not just that he, that he walked up there, but... The fact that he didn't commit to the fight, just wanted to see if someone was there and he found out. Yeah, but you're right. He could have been caught even then. 35 seconds about to be on the clock and you can tell Liquid kind of know they pushed outside of the B-bomb site so they can put a lot of people in opening the door and knocking out Crims. That's a pretty good start. 25 seconds. The bomb, though, being brought back on that kill, they realize, all right, wait a minute, maybe we can change this around. Yeah, Nitro is going to start backing off. So is Naf. Roy's on alert, but Yakinder should be able to catch him. It's going to be a freebie. Back towards the B-bomb site. It's all on OC. That's a quick headshot. Nicely done, and that should spell the end of the pistol round. Surely, yes. Eight seconds left. I just don't think it's going to be possible here. Although, Bessie got... getting some ridiculous headshots, and in spite of all of the odds, they're at least getting a bomb plant right now. Messi trying to see if he can clean this up on his own, but he's tagged down. Loi gets one more to take down Nitro. Outrageous! And he's getting a chance, even at Yakinda. He got one more headshot, and this is going to be a miracle play, but it gets taken away. Yakinda able to close the round with a triple of his own. But that is absolutely nuts. Yeah, I'll leave my words. That's fine work with the P250. I thought once that bomb hit the deck in four on two, that was pretty much Fnatic getting stalled out of access and Yukinder doesn't even bother picking up the kit either. One to nothing, but that's a very close affair. Yeah, I thought there was no way. This is a great moment. Yeah, second before disaster for Crims. But this is, uh, this is what prompted Kasada, I think, to tell him, to say, you know, Bezzi is the best player on this team. Shots like that. Yeah, definitely making a, a little bit of a case for himself right there. Good stuff. But it is Liquid winning the pistol. And obviously on the back with the momentum of winning Inferno, not too bad. Not, he didn't serve that wall at all, did he? Oh, dink onto Nitro through the fencing down to 4 HP. They continue the aggression, but... That kind of presence might put a little bit of fear in you if you're Fnatic. Now, the reaction is fantastic. Fnatic has gained so much map control and so much space on the other side. They've already taken over party. Roy and Fosher are already up past tree, knocking on the door of the bathroom, seeing if anyone's home. Seeing if anyone's going number two. And nobody is. They're quite far back. OC kind of nearby, you can still out here. Got to be a little bit worried. AWP on the other, sorry, Scout on the other side, not the AWP, but it doesn't matter. The deal will finish him off. Nice find. And that's kind of what we thought would happen in the pistol round when he made that very same yeah. peak. This time he gets uh, punished by it. So Nav's going to push up aggressively. Molotov to try and slow access into the bomb site. That does force Roy to back away. Nitro's over. He's got a Molotov as well. It's going to follow up out towards long, a little bit scuffed, but it does the job. No one's progressing forward for Fnatic. One smoke, one flashbang to use on this hit. Again, down to 30 seconds, but this essentially going to be four people here real soon for the liquid side. So it might be difficult for Fnatic to actually make this work. Now, all of them are pushing in on long, just stuck in there trying to run through the smoke. And this is very, very sketchy up close with the MP9s and they are getting chewed up. Crims on his own in a one versus three. It's a pretty good pre-fire. And he goes straight. Oh, actually, he's going to fake it out. Hoping to get one more kill. It's a nice idea. And he actually somehow gets Nap and has just enough time for the bomb plant. I can't believe it. OC, low on health. And Crims about to negotiate this one versus three in his favor as well. Eagles out. 
Might be better with the M4 if he can get the reload in or has enough bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Finishes in style, and that is an absolutely classic clutch coming out from Crims. Yeah, that's that's uh, what a way. That's a tough round. That's a tough round loss to take. OC winning the fight initially in bathrooms towards party was wonderful because it allows Nitro to play really on a on the on a safe side of dice boxes to create another crossfire. He doesn't have to worry anyone coming up highway, anyone coming from bathrooms whatsoever. Naf might have been able to slow this one down just a little bit to play with the time a little bit more. And Krims just handles everything perfectly. Even if OC's not at 12 HP, that's a kill. That's an instant one dig headshot. Beautiful yeah. stuff from Krims. Incredible presence of mind. I mean, when you're low on time like that, to get the kill, fake it out, get one more, and have just enough time for the bomb plant. Second round comeback for Fnatic. Yeah. Dekinder's gonna go for the peak. Flash is there as well, but Roy's passed it. He's close up to the wall, turns the corner, gets an easy one. Force by and round number three for Team Liquid. They're playing in a man deficit. Famas on a liege is the strongest weapon they've got and only flashbangs remaining in terms of nades. Yeah, that's a little bit interesting. Still a minute on the clock, so seem like they are. I mean, I guess it's not surprising that they're going to be looking for that kind of aggression from, from your kind, right? They know that that is something that he really likes doing. Good headshot. Didn't even better return. Leaving Nitro on his own and Fnatic looking to make this a pretty smooth round. Yeah, 2-1. No real issues. Liquid will have to sit the next round out. And we'll see what they're able to do with it. Nitro probably just decided to save the armor in CZ to maybe make a miracle happen in round number four, but there's no point in him flirting with anything in this one. No, just keep it cool. Save what you can. Maybe if you can find weapon on the ground somewhere, it's quite far away. Seems unlikely. Absolutely. Well, Crims might find him straight down to the CZ and straight up with the MAC-10 on the ladder. Two to one for Fnatic. Now, also, too, we, we talk a lot of the conversation going to be on Yakinder's entries on the T side, especially against Cloud9 on this map. But also, if you remember back, the CT side as well, he was such a linchpin. He was one of the guys who was able to really calm down the game and let Team Liquid CT side get into a good place. He had that miracle deagle around at Divider. He closed things out with a massive triple kill out towards Long. He was incredible on both sides of the map. We're going to have to see the rest of Team Liquid step up to match it as well which probably will not be this round with the USPs, but you're right, eventually they're gonna need to. A little bit of a quiet start here for the Liquid side. After winning the pistol as well. Yeah, Fnatic feeling no pressure to try and, uh, and do much of anything in this one. I mean, they know that it's gonna be probably just USPs, maybe a Deagle or two, which we can tell is not actually in play, but using the Mac 10 to open up the B bomb side with. Wow, that's not even much of a look. I thought he would've kept going. Oh, he's checking everything though. Can't really blame Fnatic for spending the time that they are. Liquid not going for any crazy boosts or anything inside of the B-bomb side. They're no. hanging out. Yep, chilling. They're just hoping they walk into it. They got nothing to set anything up. Crims is gonna discover, you imagine, a stack. Given a sound cue to make it sound like he's fallen away not committed himself as he knows his teammates haven't encountered any resistance either. He's trying to spring the trap, but it won't matter. They're already in A. It's gonna be three to one for Fnatic, nice and easy. That's, uh, yeah, experience talking really on the on the side of Crims down there. I think that bomb side looks so quiet. I think maybe he saw one person up at heaven once. But the rest of the time, it just it feels like it's a graveyard completely. But if he had kept going, he would have run into a fair few people. So good uh, good call on him. Obviously going to be a one round for Fnatic, no doubt. Question will be, what are Liquid going to do in the in the next round? What are they able to put on the board? Ooh, tapping away as Nika does. Nothing crazy. Two round lead. Yeah, there will be the question, and, and they won't have an AWP out in the hands of OC early on in this in this uh, first gun round that they're going to get involved in. He'll have to go down to the M4 now. He started out. He started out Inferno well with with a rifle. You know he's got the skills. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I even feel like, I mean, I guess on this map maybe it's a little bit different, but if you, if you're not really feeling that up, if you feel like you're missing a couple of shots, then maybe it is better to just play with the rifle instead. Here's the problem too: is three players without head armor for Team Liquid against two Mac 10s, a Galil, and an M4. That can be a real weakness, especially with the pace that's going to be brought out by Roy. Yakinder steps into the flames just once, and Naf is going to alleviate a little bit of pressure. A good opening kill on a Crims and a follow-up from Yakinder on a Nikodaz puts him in a five-on-three. Very manageable situation. Now the goal for Team Liquid shifts into, I mean, obviously don't lose the round, but let's not lose a whole lot of weapons either. You don't need to take any risks. Yeah, try and make sure you can get as much as you can, especially if they can upgrade from us maybe or something like that to an AK, that would be amazing. The Liege, look at it, he is so proactive. I mean, the bomb is right up there, he finds that, it's definitely game over in this round. Roy gonna get the one opening, but Yakinda's still out on long and he's hearing the footsteps. For sure, still able to pick up the kill. I'm kind of impressed that that even happens because that was very readable. A minute now on the clock for Mezzi to try and prove once again that he's the best player on the team, if he can, one versus three. Yeah, he doesn't have to win. Any any kills he gets here are great. 48 seconds left on the clock as he's gonna move up long. This is gonna be contact. He's gonna be silent the whole way. He's just got the lone Molotov, but he's not gonna use that, I wouldn't think, until he gets at least one kill. Yeah, using it now, it feels like we'll just give away his position and remove the element of surprise, so. They are pre-aiming this position, very hard for him to clear even this first one, but he's gonna get a headshot. That's a very nice opening. A nice choice there to close it out and Liquid with the second round. Yeah, but three kills in a in a in a three versus five, I think Liquid I mean excuse me, I think Fnatic's gonna be pleased with that. Maybe not jump it up and down for joy. They're not right into letters home, but very, very happy, especially with this being the way the round started. Ooh. Just like four bullets used from NAF. Efficient. Yeah, I mean, you can't expect to start rounds like that, so I guess it's not something that's super repeatable for the Liquid side of things, but it's still pretty good. They'll take it. Sixth round is coming up. They did pick up that AK right at the end. And obviously, Fnatic are still going to be able to buy. And even after this round, they have money, so they're in a great position. Ooh, yeah, Kinder's got to be careful. He knows they're in Blue Door. He knows they're in the stairs. Now he's pinned down. Mezzi about to turn the corner. Yeah, Kinder's got that fight. That's the bomb that drops. He didn't even take too much damage. Fasher's been brought low as well. 17 HP on him, so again, another good start for Team Liquid in this round. Roy, yep, he knew where that flashbang was coming from. Sent over to try and help out Yakinda over on this side, but they didn't see anything, and now he's isolated. Shot in the back by Nikodos. That's actually really well handled by Fnatic. Oh yeah, this is this is so dangerous. What a headshot, Alij! Doesn't know Roy's up close, and he can't handle it. It's all come crumbling down. The extended aggression from Team Liquid. Fnatic slipped through all the gaps. The play from Roy to get up to Divider. Yeah. OC never ever expected it. He was rotating around from bathrooms all the way back towards the bomb site. He never expected that timing. Nitro gonna get timed as well. Triple kill for Nikodos on the round, but. Really, I think what's really impressive is when you kinda gets the first kill there, his position is revealed and he just stands there for a really long time. And I actually thought OC would flash him either away or, or into a fight really early, but he waited a long time and yeah. Fnatic was so patient, so they didn't get caught by anything. He did it a little bit later. And I think that's what gave Roy kind of the information of where exactly he was, what was happening to give them that push up. And unfortunately, Yekinder being that, Yekinder being that aggressive, that long and then Nap also joining up with them. There was no there was no fallback option for Team Liquid once they realized that was busted. Back to pistols. What a struggle to begin this map with. It certainly is. Especially after winning the pistol. Yeah, it's even worse when you put it in in that light. You think, well, if Messi would have got that last shot, then maybe maybe this would have been a clean six and oh in favor of Fnatic right now. Some real important rounds being picked up here by the T side. As they're looking to get us onto a third map, which that'd be great. It's what we all want. Being very, very patient with their time fanatic on this T side. Methodical, yeah. I I'd call it. This is uh this has been very cool to watch in these first seven rounds. 48 seconds left on the clock. Just now taking control of stairs in Blue Door and Middle. Yakinder's in bathrooms. Might be able to challenge Roy, but he's only got the USP unarmored. 
Roy's going to be doing this a lot. We've seen it a couple of times. This is how he got the kill on OC in the previous round. Saw him earlier lurk up to this direction as well. That'll be something Liquid's going to have to deal with in the later stages of this half. Nice shot. All right. Yeah, it didn't even look like he was really aiming for it, did it? It really didn't, but um, yeah. Might get a surprise here. You can just right next to him. It doesn't matter with the USB. So fair enough. Roy doing a, a lot of work here, as you pointed out. Finally going to get tagged up, but yeah, he's done what he came for. The liege down here with the deagle, maybe looking to flex a little bit. Five to two in favor of Fnatic. That is a really strong start, especially given the map that we're playing here. Yeah, it is. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some AWP watch for OC. Twenty-four hundred dollar loss bonus coming in in the next round. OC's not going to have the cash for an op again. So Fnatic is at least, I mean, they've done a great job with the rounds they've won, limiting the money. They're playing most of this half without even having to worry about NOP, which makes, which strengthens the more. He likes pushing up towards Found, he likes pushing up towards Party. So they've been, they've been very on top of things in terms of negating that damage and minimizing the amount of damage he can do. And they've been, they've been doing it. Adjustment out of the timeout. Fnatic, don't go for that slow, methodical style across the map. They're going to go for a monster pop. So a lot of people down here at the B-bomb side. Oh, and they line up even with the flashbangs. It doesn't matter. That crossfire between the Legion and Nitro is perfect. Yeah, it also helps. Nitro actually hits them with his smoke as they try and jump through. So the sound cue is there to let them know someone's in the smoke. And also, it obviously is going to slow someone down. So perfect timing for that. And extremely unlucky if you're Fnatic. But this is the exact kind of win you want if you're Team Liquid. Like, right out of the gates, you've just deleted four players. You've barely taken damage. And they get to build up some money. Just don't lose too many players to Roy in a 1v5. Yeah. Don't lose anybody. Good job. But you can you can see the the thinking for Fnatic, right? It makes sense since they've been they've been working the other side of the map so much. They think maybe if we kind of pretend we put out the Molotov, we throw a little bit of some flashbangs over towards the birthday party area, and then we, we hit that B bomb site. It's not such a crazy idea. Yeah, and sometimes you might be able to catch a team doing like some kind of aggressive three man play, you know, towards bathrooms, towards towards party, and you come over to Monster and they're playing a little bit more passive, and you just get through there for free. Unfortunately, that's not the case uh, in this particular round. Yeah, not this time. Five to three. Blowing up the door with an eight cheese become super popular. Everyone is doing it. Just to put a little bit more pressure on that T side. Crims, close range, and Elise absolutely not aware. That was so fast. Oh, that's fast too. What a transfer onto Roy. The second kill is a thing of beauty from your kinder. They can't even react in time. Now he's trapped for the moment. Or sneak it us trapped with him. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Triple running down the stairs, Jason. If we had Riot Shield still in Counter Strike, it could be a modern day Legolas. <laughs> yeah, fair play. He was sliding down. Also, you kinder knows it's so rare that you'll actually see three players on a gun round from the T side in that part of the map to start things out. So he just knows he's taking that educated guess that he can take the risk and just turn his attention away, turn his attention towards that main part of the map. Mezzi and Crims, last ones remaining, both of them in bathrooms. Naf is way, way back at the A bomb site, deep in bank. And Liquid's starting to make their move now. OC and Nitro are clearing out short sewers, so Yakinder can make a decision. Does he want to re retreat through B, or does he go up the stairs and he can have a fast flank through bathrooms? Yeah, he did go and check it out with the rest of them, but yep, now he's back for it. 23 seconds. And he's going to be there almost in perfect time. One of them has snuck past, so a chance maybe to get a kill towards that bank, but only about 14 seconds left. Oh, what a nice spin around. Mezzi doing the best that he can here. 10 seconds, going to go for the bomb plant finally. He is boxed in, and any second now, he's going to get shot on the side of the head. As OZ showing up with the AK-47, but yeah, nice round out of Liquid. Yeah, well done from Liquid. Well done uh, providing the, you know, the main three frags of the round for Yakinder, who opens things up. Double kill towards Blue Door. That was cool. That was a very fast change of pace to start the round out from Fnatic. We obviously, Elise did not expect Krims to be in position to shut him down this early in the round, but what a job from the Akinder to find the equalizing kill and the follow-up. Yeah, all the difference in the world that it makes 
I feel like the timing that you were talking about, you know, him realizing, okay, there's a little bit of attention over at the L bend. I could, I'm gonna put, like, that is, we're talking about like hundreds of a second here to, to, to make the call to actually do it, you know? So if you, if you wait two seconds, that timing is of the way, you know? So really, really impressive. Let's see. The spam on to Fashai is down to 85. Not really the end of the world. The bomb dropped far back for the Fnatic side, so... I'm gonna try and put some pressure on to your up. He's already taken down one, looking to do another one, but... Roy will stop him. Yeah, no way for Nap to get involved either. Oh, this is a dangerous push from Elyse. Smoke's gonna clear. Oh, he does. Oh, he does check it. He had to come back for it. That was very dangerous. So is the follow-up. Nitro and Elise just barely alive, but Crims is here, and he should know Nitro's low. Molotov is not gonna hold Crims back. Yeah, he gets a double. Oh, he's arrived from up top. One good kill from him. Transfers over. It's Nikodaz. And Naf is the last one left in a 1v2. 1v1 make it. Yeah, brilliant stuff. And oh, he's going to walk all the way around. And this is even better because Crims has taken a minute now to put the bomb down because he wants to make absolutely sure. I don't know, Crims, we saw the level of experience that he had earlier, so he might know this, but... Oh, I can't believe that he goes to look. Crims, this is so wild. How would you ever expect it? I think that was brilliantly played by Neff, but somehow Crims is just a step ahead. Yeah, sees no presence, feels no issues, and just uh, takes an educated guess, gets himself out of danger, kind of moves out of where Naf believes he was. That's the one downside to that play from Naf is you really lose track of where the final player is. True. And you can see Naf as well didn't expect this move from Crims, but what a great ground put together. Crims realizes he can punish moving up aggressively on sandbags. Naf still got his knife out. He's thinking he's got him fooled the whole way. And even though he pulls it out there at the end, he's not ready for that fight. Crims has been a clutch all day today. Pair of really, really good ones on Inferno. Yeah, this round was something else. Catching them as they're backpedaling through the monster tunnel, he, they, like, they're probably just happy to even be alive coming out to, uh, to to hit outside of that B-bomb site. And when they come back, they're not aware that Crims is that deep. And in the other round, Crims got the kill on Elige by being pretty deep on the L-Bend. So in general, just that position and playing it in a really forward way been paying off for him. Ooh, yeah. Nitro getting the kill on Mezzi. Always a tough position when people are in that grading back there. Oh yeah, very difficult to handle. Utility spent some challenges being made, but Team Liquid with a two-man advantage. Just gonna be surviving for the moment. Nitro passes off the M4 to Elise, who's got more health. But Liquid's in full control of the situation. Nikodos, what an opening. You said it, Jason, you cursed them. And now Naf gonna be going down. Triple opening for Nikodos, absolutely running wild in the B-bomb side. The OC, two versus three, and they're not Coming to help each other out that easily from this position either. That's absolute insanity. What a round from Nika does to put him in this position. And, and now you have to make a decision if you're Liquid. Do you really want to risk the AWP? Your you, uh, you, Kinder has to provide you something turning this corner. It needs to be a kill, and it is. I can't believe it. Taking down for sure. Maybe there is a chance for Liquid to get back into it. He almost walked into the shot right then and then. Nikodos trying to keep going, but he ran out of bullets. No way. A spin around. Does he have time? I think he does. I think he, he must be if he's sticking it. Barely does. Unreal. Yakinda with the spin around. He's on 14 no, and in the last second. No! He can't get it done. Oh, I want to know how much time was left. I need to know that. That went less than half a second. I was so confused the whole time. I, I Look, I know the Liquid players. Some of them have the music on. I thought someone would have just said, you got it or you don't. Maybe it was that close to where they couldn't tell. Oh, yeah. that is knew. wild. What a performance from Nikodaz to put him into this situation. What a poor performance from Yakinder to almost win this post plant. Just what, maybe a quarter of a second too late? Nikodaz even running out of ammunition in the magazine. That's so crazy. <laughs> I really can't believe it. That's got to be so frustrating. Now, Fnatic have to be aware the AWP was saved. Nice shot from OC, spots out the jump peak, but doesn't commit to the shot until he's got a clean win. Good job, yeah. From us here, able to pick up Roy. That's about what they have. MP9 on Nitro as well. So the fact that they've got two openings here, Liquid, 
it almost feels criminal if they were able to steal this round away. If they actually pick it up here, Fnatic are gonna feel like it's been it's been stolen from them. Seven to four, and with the weapons on Liquid, you would think it's gonna be eight, maybe nine, before Liquid get back into it, but they're looking to steal this back. Crazy stuff here. Yakinda nearly getting that one already with a double. Naps on the rotation. If he can clean up this kill, that makes things a ton easier. Op switched it too. And Nap doesn't want to go for the peak. He knows he's got a Legion on a flank who's calling it out. Just stay alive. Just wait for me. I'm in bathrooms. I'm pushing up. We've got him locked in. Yeah, boxed in here on the form side. Nothing that Fnatic could do. Just try and get the bomb plant and hope for a miracle. They've already had a couple, so maybe it is just one of those days. Liege sneaking up, and he's a second away from taking down Mezzi, surely. Yeah, there's the crouch spray coming in, and Fashas very low on health. I don't think you do this one versus three. A little bit of a, almost a jump there to get him killed. Elige will take him down eventually. And what a what a gift for Liquid. They needed this round so badly. Yeah, they're fighting really hard just to stay like alive and fighting in this in this game. Fnatic has been burying them on this T side. It's been really isolated wins for Team Liquid. They only have a single stretch where they strung two rounds together. Everything else has just been a single win and then a loss. This might help them change that fortune. Because Fnatic, and I, I mean, he's even mentioned it a couple of times in interviews at the moment. It, the big talk about Liquid in the group stage was coming into this and feeling a little bit rusty, individually not on par. And I know, I know, Yakinder's been playing far more aggressive than than he might even normally like to, just because he's trying to make up for some of that fact. He's trying to have an impact individually to help clean up some of the mistakes and rustiness that's coming in with the team play. And like you mentioned, they're wrapping around him. Ooh, yeah, they are. So I think I think he might have been spotted by Mezzi. That's a uh, long range with the Tech Nine, but it works perfectly. Four on four. And letting go of the M4A1, definitely unfortunate, but probably still recoverable for the liquid side. Ozzy back here, jumping away with the AWP, wants to keep his distance. It's optimistic by Roy. We've got about 40 seconds right now. Not that many nades left really on the liquid side, but then again, even fewer on the Fnatic side. Yeah, they're, they're going, they're shifting into a good setup though, especially for how this round is playing out. The third player, NAF, is rotating over. They're playing retake on the B bomb site, so they're really just kind of trusting that they'll be able to win out these battles, these engagements against, you know, weaker weaponry. NAF struggles a little bit to find that kill, but gets it done at the end of the day. It's just Mezzi. Half blind, full blind, but no peek yet from Liquid. Surely they're all going to peek him. Once he finds his gun, it's going to be at least another two. Oh, if he could have got that one. If he could have got that one, maybe he could have got it for the straight transfer onto the truck as well. Yeah, he was low HP on the truck. That was yeah. a very doable situation. Scary for Team Liquid. Good shot from OC. Six to seven, Liquid's one round back. Bit closer to tying it up, one step at a time. Been a real hard first half, opening half here on the second map for the Liquid side. But they're not out of it yet. They've got Yukinda leading the path, and Elysia and Osi have started to get their own kills too. So, yeah, if Yukinda can, can keep being enough of a force early on in the half so that the rest of the team can wake up, maybe that's all they need. Osi on that AWP. That last round, he was down in... The connector with you know up close even if it's just in the clock i mean just just seeing him trying to take some more risks and maybe getting rewarded for it is kind of nice so look at this they want to go really hard again abusing the forward position on the elf and crims he's done it three times now and it's worked for him although this time there is a little bit of a better response naf and Elige getting a two in return naf trying to push up but he's gonna get triple teamed and that's too much even for naf to deal with Elish feeling lonesome for backup down here. 55 seconds on the clock, and OC, yeah, very risky. Caught out in the open, and he's going to be going down. The trades are so good for Fnatic. Now, Yukinder had a huge flank earlier that almost netted them a post plan victory. I don't know if Fnatic's going to read it. Nikodaz is checking it right now, but Yukinder's gone the other direction towards short. 38 seconds, and both Fnatic players are just paused, waiting for the rebuttal, waiting for the, what the response is going to be, waiting to catch the presence of Yukinder. And now they're going to have it. Decent damage done. 
Yeah, they know at the very least. They know. Oh, he almost catches one of the mid-M. If he had more bullets, he would have done it. Look at the damage. They've got 16 health combined in a one versus two. Great patience, though, from Fnatic. Great patience, not trying to rush the plant, not trying to do things too fast. Scary. Scary to be able against a player that has that kind of an impact, but you're right. They could have maybe tried to, to go straight for a bomb plant, and maybe he would have picked up one of them at the same time, so... Still, Fnatic up to eight. Maybe a little bit of an overextension from OC there up top, not able to get in any kind of a cover after the shot. Yekinder's gonna have a scout. He's pushed up. Gonna back away as Roy and Fasho take control of stairs very, very quickly. And it's a push from Team Liquid towards Sandbags. Three players with the M4 in support. I like this. They don't have the nades late in this round to play like a really slow game. So why not try and take it away from Fnatic early on and just go for it? It's the 15th round anyway, so you might as well. Oh, and OC is going to find a free kill on Nikodos. That's a, it's a better start than you could have hoped for. Yeah, no punish from the door either. Bomb is way, way far back towards T-spawn. But again, Fnatic it makes the counter call. Roy and Fosher moving up highway very quickly in bathrooms. Yakinder is going to be peeking from the site. That's the scout. I don't think he spotted anything yet. He might be in so much danger. He might have actually seen one player tuck himself into this corner. But they haven't spotted Roy at Divider yet. Yeah, I think he knows. I think he knows the Fashar's there, but does it actually matter? You gotta be really, really careful. Flashbang in his eyes. It bears the, yeah. He actually calls in Naf to clear it out. That's brilliant. Yeah, they knew. And they were like, yep, this guy's in this position. Just hard clear it, hard swing it, pre-fire, all the good stuff. Wow. That's so scary. He gets the headshot of Roy. I feel like Roy must have been thinking, please, just swing and take the fight. Finally, he goes down to Mezzi, but... Two versus four, and a chance for Liquid to at least get to seven rounds, which is probably more than uh, than they thought they could get at one point in this game. OZ, a little bit awkward. Got to look at the time. There's only 10 seconds. Don't fight them at the moment. It's a two on four, so just let him get onto the bomb site. There's a little bit of a good one-two punch, and Mezzi's running out of time at the end. He will go down eight to in that half. I think it was a great performance from Fnatic's offense. Yeah, fighting for, uh, for for table scraps, but still somehow managing to put together a meal for themselves, which is which is a bit interesting. Now they switch sides, and Fnatic going to be on the CT side. So a couple of duelies been picked up. Single flashbang on Crims. He's already put out down to take a little bit of a peek, just based on raw timing. Nothing really to find. I think you also got to feel like having having watched Liquid against Cloud9 that if, if Fnatic have a plan and they can execute it well on a, on a way to shut down Yakinder or to just to avoid being like entirely decimated and punished by him. Yeah. That I mean, it sucks to say that about Team Liquid, but I don't know if this map is necessarily good enough in their pool to to have a whole lot of win conditions based off what we've seen. We're certainly lacking a lot of it. You, that's definitely true. Duelies are going to get knocked out. Fashado is there with a double of his own. It is traded, though. Elige back into it. So it's a three on three. Crims, smoke is on top. He runs out, trades places, and finally goes down. What a great find for Elige. And now they're going to get a bomb plant at the very least here. If they can stop this flank coming in as well, that's everything they need. Ooh. Trying to get the job done there, but Roy tagged up and brought out. Yeah, the gush. The gush from OC sealed that fight. Tough one for the duelies to win. They know the position of the last player. 3v1. No need to commit. Everyone peek off Elysia's contact. Yeah, he's trying to bait them. He really, really wants them, especially now that he's sw swung this wide. But like you said, why would they? I don't even know. It might have been worth risking the armor. Now it's been taken away from him. And Elise has had a phenomenal round, a phenomenal round with all the trades, the final entry, clearing out the player behind the bomb site. three kills in the round for Elise. Especially it feels like that second one coming into the bomb site. Yes. that one made a huge difference, so well done. Yeah, this, this one coming up here, that's, that's the one that really makes a difference, Crims. Otherwise, had a good read on the situation, but just couldn't find the, the kill on him. Yeah, seemed like a very good play. Ooh, we got a little treat in this round, Anders. Go on. The MP5 awesome. is back. Nice. I knew Yakido was gonna was gonna do something special here today. That warms my old 1.6 heart. And some CS:GO developer that spent probably the better part of a year developing <laughs> a gun for no one to ever use. For no one to ever equip it. So yeah. Well, maybe he's gonna start a trend. How so? 
I hope so. Maybe it's like the yo-yos of professional Counter-Strike. You just need one person to get started and everyone else is going to join in. <laughs> yo-yos. No. You're so old, Jason. <laughs> so old. Just got to walk the dog, you know? I was real, I was real good with nope. yo-yos. He's nope. not. No one's going to be picking it up after that. Ah, oh, we've seen this boost a number of times. That's so effective. NAF goes down. What? The same thing as the first half. Liquid won the pistol in the first half and lost the second. It looks like history is repeating itself. Still plenty of time on the clock, but five versus three. Deep boost back here with the FAMAS. Doesn't really get the damage, but you get the spot anyway. And they're going to get the follow-up kill onto Elise, so it's all good right now. OC dropped very low, and they're just going to brute force this problem. Mezzi at the end of it with a quad kill. Absolutely impressive. And a 9-8 to eight scoreline. And that's that's not what Liquid needed here. No, that's that's stubbing your toe in both halves. I mean, you win the pistol both halves. You lose the second round in both halves. App, that's that's brutal. 9-8, Fnatic in a one-round lead. And they've got all the money in the world. Liquid's going to buy back up into a Tech 9s. I think they got a little bit of everything. Tech 9s, two of them, two Deagles, P250. Light on utility, light on nades for Team Liquid. Look at Roy hands. Another MP5. Let's see if he's, he's the same one. He might be the trendsetter. Yeah, it's the one he picked up. All right, cool. Still, want to see it at least get fired this time, just for the fun of it. Yeah, that'd be good. Hear the sound? Although, not to be too nitpicky, but it wasn't silenced in 1.6. No, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> Come on, Andrew. <laughs> just don't, don't ruin my day. Just saying. I think that's what's stopping people from using it. I think if they took the silencer off. People, more people oh. would go for it? Yeah. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Almost walked into the deagle shot. OC's hoping for a jump. This is all Liquid have, though, is this set piece. Smoke towards headshot, likely smoke towards bank. You'd imagine a Molotov going to be on the truck. Or dice boxes, one of the two. Comes towards dice. Nikonaz will be forced into the open, but a counter flash is perfect to give him an opportunity to give him some safety. And he retreats towards his teammate at long. It's a good trade from Elyse, but a long way to go. Yep, Roy is here. They've given the MP5 over, so not even getting to see it at all here. It feels like OC is turning his back, and he's alone as well. One versus three. A little bit worried about getting into the fight, Nikonaz, because he is solo one health. And at the end of the day, Crims will close out the round. So, I don't know. Some pressure put on that A-bomb side. I mean, uh, they didn't do nothing in this round, Liquid, but they couldn't get the bomb on. Yeah, I think even the MP5 gets tossed away at the end of the day, so it was a good run while it lasted. Zero kills. Um, not even really involved in any engagements and any gunfights. Hardly ever fired, probably not at all. That's disappointing. Yeah, that's a bummer. Two-round lead for Fnatic. Oh, Roy is going to get a chance to make so much money. He's got four unarmored pistols heading his way. All Glocks as well. Yeah, Warbang not doing much. Yeah, he's, he's stacking it up. Leaving a need on the stairs for them to walk into. That's great. He improvised that. So it's a regular MacGyver. This is pretty, I mean, this is phenomenal considering what Liquid brought into the round. Two kills, you have an M4 salvaged. SMG still on a liege. One more kill would be phenomenal. Going to be hard to get, all things considered. But a liege might have an opportunity right here. Yeah, doesn't check it. Okay, here we go. And he dodges damage. They know the position of the next player as well. OC's going to start creeping up, but he's going to have an engagement. Not oh, very favorable to him here with the health. That's the real problem, but... Look how far Crims is out of the fight. He's not even going for any kind of a flank. If you see on the minimap, he's just looking to see them fall back to the blue door. So there's a real opportunity here. Both Crims and Mezzi playing this very, very passively. Oh, Mezzi, though, how do you how do you swing against Mezzi to find a headshot against him right here? I mean, maybe you get the I, bomb down, but I, th I don't think you do. I think you take the risk and you just say, "Okay, OC plant." We don't necessarily need to take over the bomb site, although they don't want to get shot from bathroom, so they're going to go towards truck. Now the question becomes, do they want to swing all the way? Elise can do it slow. Who missed opportunity for Mezzi? Slow on the trigger. Fight for Elise is one. How are they doing this? Crims has another one v two to win, but he's got utility. Yes, he does. One good place the HE grenade could turn it into a one. one and OC's at truck. OC's yeah. at truck. 
but he might favor the element of surprise here, Crims. He's walked up real deep. If he would have used the nade, he probably would have done it already. Walks out, almost in line of... Oh, this is so scary! Nearly actually peeking that with a nade in hand, and now they know where he is. He's making a lot of noise. He has no idea there's a player right down in front. He's still gonna get the kill, though, and he's straight on it, but with... Not a lot of time. Oh, he's still gonna be able to do it. There's no way. No, maybe not. Oh, it's God. close, but not close enough at the end. That is a brave effort for Crims. And that's it's not enough. That is, that's a, that's a massive screw up from Fnatic. That whole round to lose to five Glocks in that fashion, Liquid have just pulled the rug out from beneath them. And again, this just fits into the theme of this whole map, which has just been in Liquid barely scraping by, barely being able to create things, barely being able to stay in this. What a round to steal away. 9-10, one round back. Especially that 2v2 at the end with just absolutely no health left on any of those Liquid players. I, ca I can't believe they won any of those fights, but here we are. And look at the money on the Fnatic side. If Liquid pick up this next round, they're actually gonna they're gonna be taking lead probably. Nikodos though with the AWP. Not a bad pitch for someone who could save Fnatic at this moment. Naf out there. Gonna be three people pushing up. Bodyguarded by that AWP. Nice trade. I'll probably take that. Yeah, important trade. Off angle from Roy out towards long. He spots nothing. Elysian OC were on the verge of swinging out a little bit wider. Back to the B bomb side we go. Yekinder's called him back. He said, okay, they just got aggressive. They cleared this out. They know they have control. We have an opportunity because there's a timing where they're going to shift over and see what's happening over at the A bomb site. That timing is right now. Fasher's already starting to rotate back. It's still just Nikodaz inside the site, and he's got an op. I really love watching him play with this AWP, but this is a lot of pressure that's coming down on top of him. He needs to get a kill and try and stay alive. Oh, but they almost lined up for a double. He's going to take down OC. Elige next in the grave, and he's still playing around this pillar. Flicks down to take your kinder, and it's a triple for the Danish shot player. Nitro now, one versus two, with only 25 seconds. Very hard to find a kill, get the bomb, and maybe uh, try and go for the plant as well. 18 seconds now, and it's quickly running down. Roy is already at the bomb site, so he's going to be walking into this crossfire almost no matter what. Roy will take him down, and that is a massive win for Fnatic. Yeah, you, I mean, that's an incredible round from, from Nikodaz as well at the pillar, but you got to give, I don't know, maybe not credit, but maybe a couple of assists over to Fasher because Fasher, because he's the one rotating over, and they kill him first. That buys the time for Nikodaz to become unblind and to use this pillar just per... 21st round coming up. One ancient game. ancient would be the third map if Fnatic can take us there. And I remember the, the pregame segment, the pre-match segment. The analysts were were very pleased for Fnatic that they were able to get Ancient as the third and deciding map in this series. Yeah, it's already t it's already been a marathon game so far. I mean, it was close on Inferno. Obviously, this is a close map, even if Fnatic seem to have more of the momentum. So if it goes three maps, you end up an Ancient. That's, uh, that can maybe wear Liquid down at the end of it. Fnatic being very proactive on their defensive side. Once again, pushing off sandbags, clearing... Clearing short entirely. Gonna leave Roy in position. And he can, even if they would like, he could be the only defender here. They can rotate everyone back to the A bomb site. Liege with the only AK. He's got 19 kills, by the way. So, um, he's actually overtaken Yukindar even. Ozzy's up there as well at 16, so they've got they got three out of five players that are doing quite uh, quite a bit better than they were at the start of it. And you could have sneaking in for some info with the AWP again, very aggressive, but hard to read as well from Nitro. Not expecting the AWP to be up that close late in the round, and even running, even though they could probably hear that, they don't feel like they can catch him getting back into the bomb side. 25 seconds and Liquid in a lot of trouble in this round to try and actually get the bomb plant here. Elige hoping to catch someone peeking, but no one is at the moment. 17 seconds, and they need that bomb plant right now. I'm not sure that's even going to be happening here. Elige traded right away. Good timing for Mezzi to show up. Naf on his own, and he can't do the job either. So another round, 12 to 9 in favor of Fnatic. Yeah, and the op is salvage as well. And with a complete investment into that round from Team Liquid, they've got nothing to fight with. Again, it's back to five Glocks. And look, it's great they won the first one. You ain't winning that round twice in one half. It's just not happening. No. I don't think so either. 
for the last five going in the favor of Fnatic. And look, Liquid's had their chances too in this series. Remember, keep in mind, they've, they've won, or in this map, excuse me, they've, they've won both pistols here. They just lost both second rounds. Imagine what, how much of a benefit it would be to this scoreboard if they had at least one extra round to start each half, if they'd won the ensuing two at least. Yeah, that, that is a fair point. It's not like they haven't had the opportunity. Single upgraded. P250 there on a leash, and that's about it. Nikodos maybe not 100% ready for that fight, but he is so quick. Kind of part of this new generation of uh, of all players that, I don't know, I think until, uh, until he was in Copenhagen Flames, I feel like no one would have even heard of this guy, and he just came out of nowhere and... <laughs> That whole team came out of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, Roy with them as well. Yeah. Looks he's over on G2 now. That team has split up to be in some, some very interesting places. That Yabby over in Heroic as well. Yeah, true. Yeah, scattered to the winds in many ways, but still impressive for a bunch of uh, people not that much name brand recognition. <laughs> I like it. Oh. All right. He challenged him, felt like he got denied. Nitro was like, oh, shit, I forgot about the the Counter-Strike rule. <laughs> Someone pulls out a knife, you have to. Yeah, you got to respect it. It's unfortunate. 13 to 9, though. What a great second matching, but like, you just have, you, you can't keep it up, you know? Yeah. I mean, they've been, they've been having some pretty scrappy buys, too. It's not like they've had, like, the cleanest buys with all the utility in the world they could want, but we still haven't even seen, really, I feel like the attempted hard openings that we saw against Cloud9 of the Kinder and Bathrooms. Now, part of that is because Fnatic's been coming out with a very aggressive defense. Yeah, speaking of which, Nikodos over here. Takes a shot and falls back, but again, I mean, it is really far forward on the map, so at least will force Liquid to be a little bit more respectful. And Crims has control. I mean, Fnatic has complete control of short once again. It's actually Crims and Fosher there. So, I mean, pure pure comfort for this defense so far. Nothing to challenge against him. Yakinder goes down. Missed shot from Nikodos, but it's okay. You have control of stairs. Vitro goes one for one. And we've got a man advantage for Fnatic. Yeah, and they're keeping the pressure on. They're still keeping Nikodos out here, and he's going to find that one. Elige has to check the, the connector because they know that Roy is still down there, so they're going to be a little bit worried about it. Messi and Roy both at 22 kills. And this is a 4 on 2 that Fnatic are looking almost destined to win. There's no energy in this T side right now. There, there's, there's nothing to really go off of. Oh, <laughs> that's awkward. OC's already well through. Messi might get caught by this which would make for a very spicy situation. Oh, he has no idea. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does, but he can't find Nikodaz. Low HP. That would have been cool. That would have been see what the young man can do in a must-win round, essentially. But Liquid just swatted aside again. Yeah, I mean, that's... It, it almost took a little bit of a freak timing there for them to, to, to get kind of into it, but even then, it isn't enough. 14 to 9. Yeah, this early kill from Roy is great. And another, I guess, another situation where they really shut down Yukinda early on without him getting any kills or anything. So that's huge. On Inferno, that seemed to make all the difference. And on this map, especially in the second half, they've been able to do a lot. At least on Inferno, it felt like Liquid had some ideas of what to do in the 4v5 after that eventuality occurred. Here on Overpass, it's just, it's it's so much more difficult. He, he's just, he's provided, he still seems to be like the the... the the main win condition for Team Liquid on Overpass. Tech 9 and armor for Team Liquid, starting to get desperate. Five rounds back. Fnatic's defense has clamped down. It's four rounds in a row. It's six of the last seven rounds. Yeah, they're well on their way. Not to winning the whole series, but at least to getting us onto Ancient, so... We'll see. Grouped up by the fountain with mostly, well, actually just pistols all across the board. They've got some utility with them. Probably hoping to make this a bomb plant, if nothing else, just to try and, and keep the fight going. But hard to believe that they could make it a, you know, a five or six round run here to, to even get into overtime at this point in time. The, the one thing they have to lean on is, is money is, is not great for Fnatic. Mezzi at 800, Crimson on zero. 
So, I mean, if they can get that reset, that's that's your only window of opportunity for Team Liquid. They'd have to win two in a row and it'd have to start here. Some pretty good counter nades coming out for the defense of the A-bomb site, making sure that they can't just run them down. And by the time they try to get through, it's a slaughter. 15 to nine. Fnatic one round away from getting us onto that third map. Wow, it feels like both Kassad and Yanka were, have, have been right in their own ways. <laughs> way to be the mediator. I know. Way to be, way to be neutral. Fence sitting the whole way through, taking no positions. <laughs> Anders way. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Well, it's got to be six rounds straight for Team Liquid. Fnatic have all the advantages in the world in playing a much cleaner overpass. Nikodos feeling very confident. Nitro has had a hard map as well. Shot, even though Nikodos was blind. Always upsetting and very low on health there. Roy barely making it out alive, but somehow he does. He is alive, at least for a minute here. Might still be boxed in on the other side. I think OC is there and waiting for him. I don't, ooh. That smoke actually helping out Roy quite a bit. OC, is he going to be aware? Jumping over to look for it. Yeah, he will. Good job. Four versus three. He's going for more. Elish can't get it done. He falls out towards long. Nikodaz with the op. He knows he's got some freedom, some space, and he knows exactly where OC has gone. His location is zeroed in. This one's over. 16 to 9 victory for Fnatic. And maybe even more convincing than 16 to 9. Yeah, it certainly felt like it. They've had, yes, yeah, been struggling the whole way through here, Liquid. Like you said, winning the pistols, but failing the second rounds and just not really putting it together. Bomb miles away, still in a one versus two. Even after getting a couple of kills, that's a funny shot to miss. OZ trying to be the hero, bring it back in this one versus four, and he's... He's done a pretty good job, but he's looking to essentially ace clutch this one to bring it forward. He's not going to.